It is a massive gamble. If it pays, Shell Oil will reap the benefit of being the first to establish a new market for oil in one of the harshest climates on Earth. We will be drilling these wells like they are the most complex, most difficult wells we've drilled in, in company history. The plan to sink two exploration wells into Arctic waters, one in the Beaufort Sea, the other in the Chukchi. The wells won't bring up oil, but are designed to confirm what Shell believes is down there, at least 26 billion barrels of black gold, enough to supply 10% of America's energy needs. If Shell really hits something this summer, and, um, then I think things will heat up even more. It's going to be a gold rush for yeah, oil. It'll be, a, it'll be an undersea gold rush for oil. But some of the native people who live here, the Inupiat Eskimos, fear if the oil starts to flow, their way of life could be threatened. Our, our subsistence for the winter, it all comes from the ocean. The fish, sea mammal, and the whale, It's going to ruin our ocean. Abigail Nushapuk has lived in the tiny Eskimo community of Point Hope her entire life. She's doing what she's done for years, preparing a seal skin to be made into winter boots, or mukluks, as they call them here. When you're 79 years old, you don't move like a young lady, but you have to keep on working on these skins. She, like everyone else here, uses every bit of the animals. Same goes for walruses and especially whales. The people here still get by, mostly like they've done for thousands of years, surviving the brutal winter by hunting whales and other sea animals during the short but intense summer. The winter here, a much different story. The winds can blow at hurricane strength. The ice can move like a freight train weighing a million tons an unforgiving and rapidly changing climate. This is the point of Point Hope. It separates the Bering Sea there from the Chukchi Sea there, about 90 miles that way. That's where Shell hopes to drill this summer. But if you look out this way toward the Bering Sea, we've just been here for a few minutes, and in that short time, the weather has changed enormously. It's a story we've heard before. Tradition and culture threatened by change, modern life, and necessity. This time, the stakes couldn't be higher. Oil that could help power an American boom pitted against a way of life for people living on the edge. Miguel Marquez, CNN, Point Hope, Alaska.